By the end of this video, you as the system administrator will learn how to perform your initial system setup. This video will show you how to set up tags, interventions in the treatment plan library, facilities, and appointment types. To begin, navigate to the Settings tab in the bottom left-hand corner of Best Notes. Then you will select the Tags button. The Tags area is where you will create and manage the access tags, fixed tags, and user tags. The access tags are the primary tags for contacts within Best Notes. They are primarily used to restrict access from the client chart. Fixed tags can be used to group clients into different categories. These categories can be based on program, locations, group sessions, or any other type of category that makes sense for your company. User tags are a third level of categorizing contacts that can be used if needed. Next, you will navigate to the Treatment Plan Library. This is where you can manage the goals, objectives, and interventions that generate within the diagnosis widget in the client treatment plans. You will need to at least review the list of interventions to ensure that list matches the services you provide at your company. To edit the interventions, select the intervention you would like to update. In the pop-up window, edit the necessary information and select Save. To delete the intervention, select the Delete button. To add an intervention, select the Add Intervention button at the top. Select the category in which you want this intervention stored from the drop-down list and enter the intervention into the text field titled Intervention. Then select Save. Next, you will navigate to the Facilities area. This is where you define the location of where the services are held, keeping in mind. Separate facilities can be created to reflect place of services codes for billing. For more information, see the Billing Setup video. Once you have entered the information for each location or facility, select Add. Your safe facilities will be on the left-hand side, in the Facility list, where you can select any facility and update the information as needed. Finally, you will navigate to the Calendar Settings area. This is where you will create new and edit existing appointment types. To create a new appointment type, you will begin entering information when the window opens. You can customize the description to reflect your company's verbiage. The token is an abbreviation of the description that will display on the subject line of the appointment. You can designate an appointment color for the appointment type and set the default duration. The Set Telehealth checkbox will automatically create a link for a telehealth appointment. As long as you have Best Notes Telehealth enabled, additional fees apply. If you select the Require Contact or the Require Facility checkboxes, these fields will be required in order to save the appointment when scheduling. The Set Missing area has three options. If you select Start Date, when you check in that appointment, if the client doesn't already have a start date entered into their chart, then the date of this appointment will populate into that field as their official start date. Similarly, if you select the End Date upon check-in, if the client doesn't already have an end date entered in their chart, then the date of this appointment will populate into that field as their official end date. You can only select one of these options at a time per appointment type. For example, it would make sense for an admissions or intake appointment type to have the start date selected here. If you set one of these options by mistake or decide later that you don't want this to populate, you can select the None option to remove this feature from the appointment type. The Inactive checkbox will inactivate an existing appointment type. The Ledger Codes area allows you to assign default billing codes to that appointment type. These billing codes will need to be added and managed by you or your team. The documentation area will allow you to assign specific documents to open when the appointment is checked in. When assigning documents, be sure to only assign the documents that are necessary for that appointment to minimize incomplete documentation. When you have entered in the necessary information for your new appointment type, select Save. To edit or inactivate an existing appointment type, select the appointment on the left-hand side. This will display the appointment information on the right-hand side, where you can update the necessary fields. When you have made your adjustments, select Save. Don't select Save as New if you are updating an existing appointment type, because this will create a duplicated appointment type. Only select Save as New if you want to keep the original appointment type, because this button will create a duplication of the information that has been edited. When making adjustments in the calendar settings, you will need to log out and log back in to see the changes in the calendar when scheduling.
Now you know how to perform your initial system setup, including tags, interventions, facilities, and appointment types. If you have any questions, you can reach out to Best Notes support 